welcome back to Gizmo 305. Today I'm coming at you with a brand new video guys and this is a special video that I wanted to make for quite some time guys because I have been seeing this popping up everywhere. Some of the coolest stages I've seen on Instagram, on the internet, everywhere guys. I went ahead and I had to narrow it down. There were so many, so many talented people out there creating some amazing stuff here uh, on the figure and for the figure community guys that I just had to share it with you guys. Uh, so whatever I narrow it down to today and in my opinion we're the best of the best and i hope you guys do like them and if you do make sure at the end of the video you go show them some love go follow them on their instagram pages go subscribe to their youtube channel some of them have a youtube channels so make sure you go show them the love they deserve the support and the love for all their work and everything they're doing here on the figure community and some of it is some insane work so without further ado i'm gonna stop talking and let's get started with this uh stages that i want to share with you guys today and let's go all right, guys, and let's get started here today with Stages WWE and his WrestleMania 24 stage, guys. And as you can see right there, man, he put in all the work into this stage. I am really impressed uh, as to how this turned out. And I, as I was looking at it, guys, look, every single little detail all the way down to the palm trees, as you guys can see right there uh, from that stage at WrestleMania 24, which is literally spot on. I mean, like the only thing that I, you know, would have said it would have made this so much better is that you know eventually you know put in some sort of lighting uh, around it you know kind of like how I use on my stage you guys have seen how there's those strips lighting that you can put around this stage that's the only thing that I could just you know kind of add on to this you know to make it a bit better but you know that's why it was one of my picks is because of you know how amazing this looks and an amazing work the stages WWE put into this Wrestlemania 24 stage and it just it looks um, unbelievable it just looks amazing guys uh, but next we're gonna move on to uh, KS Elite Stages and his WCW Monday Nitro, guys. And for all those of you who are following me right now on Instagram, and if you don't follow me, make sure you do. You know that right now I've been doing a lot of WCW Nitro themed pictures that I've been posting up there. And yeah, guys, this right here looks on freaking believable. I just, I just love everything about this stage, guys. I mean, like this guy went all out. As you can see, it's too scaled to how. WCW Monday Nitro uh, used to look like him putting the stink figure right there to show us just that guys as you can see right there uh, but yeah guys right now uh, for my stage I'm actually using you know the same old you know um, Tron you know which is the the TV and somebody had actually made already that stage so that's what I'm using but this right here this is something I would love to add to uh, my arena because if you guys know WCW Nitro I mean like it's just it's just you know it, it needs to be complete it just needs to be a stage and i mean i like using the led uh tv on there you know and it's just it looks amazing but this i feel like you know it would bring it that much more to life because it's the actual thing is the actual stage so yeah great work by ks elite stages on this wcw monday nitro stage but with that guys Let's move on to the next one, and it's WWE Universal Paralelo right here coming at us with this Raw is War stage, and holy cow, guys, if you guys don't follow this guy on Instagram, make sure you guys do, because he does real stage uh, setups, guys. Like, he actually brings the stage, what you would see on a Monday Night Raw, he actually makes it happen in figure form. So he does the whole work for the stage. Now, this is his Monday Night Raw uh, stage, you know, from Raw's War back in the Attitude Era. But he also did uh, the SmackDown one. As you can see right here, he did the SmackDown same guy, Universal Paralelo right here, coming at us with that old SmackDown stage. And as you can see, he puts the runs to work so you see stephanie mcmahon right there off the side uh on the very back on the centerpiece of the stage you do see the smackdown uh as you would see it on you know upm back in the day you know you would see it going on the back right there you know the smackdown logo uh led on the back or you know uh, the screen the projector screen but yeah man look at the lighting the light rig on the very top of the stage i mean he touches every single little detail so if you go to his page actually you can actually see him uh 
uh, how he actually, you know, he has videos up there of, of how it all works when he puts, you know, someone's entrance or someone's music and it just looks um, freaking believable. Well, he also uses this little screen just to show you that it's an actual, uh, either a TV or a monitor that he uses uh, first. Like he, he does some gaming from time to time. So that just looks un freaking believable. And I just really love this stage. But with that, we move into the legend himself, stage creator. And of course, you have to be on this video, right? So we're bringing him up here with the 2002 uh, Monday Night Raw stage right here from the Ruthless Aggression era, as you can see right there. I mean, this guy put in all the work, the TNN right there on the side of us. This, that's what really, that's the that little detail like that, guys, is what gets, gets me right. Like, it just, I really love little things like that. And here we have it, uh, the attitude, I mean, not attitude, right? What am I talking about? Ruthless Aggression Era Monday Night Raw stage right there. Now he does have the announcers. Uh, and as you can see right there, you know, the only thing missing would have been, you know, just the Raw logo going across the Tron and as well as, you know, on the mini Trons. Uh, but that is just something that you can just, you know, add yourself if you know you get this uh, uh, apparently these are like some sort of prints that you get and you go ahead and put on the work and build this you know together but here we go he's showing us you know how it looks to scale with the action figures as you can see right there and it just looks amazing guys i just really love how the figures actually are to scale to the stage and it's just like if you go to his youtube channel guys i'm sure he has a tutorial um on how to build this so if you guys want to go ahead and you know go and build this for your own selves uh which i'm probably well not probably most likely gonna do because i mean it just looks phenomenal guys i just love everything about this stage and i'm a big uh ruthless aggression era kind of fan because i mean that's basically what i grew up on i mean i did catch on on a lot of attitude era but you know i watched the entire ruthless aggression era and this right here is just unbelievable i mean i just love every single thing about this stage and staying with the ruthless aggression era we're going now with wxf el comandante you know coming up here with us with the smackdown fist stage that he built himself and dude i'm telling you this guy has so much uh talent is so talented guys if you go to his page you'll see other stages that he's actually built he's also done the raw version of this which we just took a look at from uh, stage creator but he's done also that but this the fist he made out of foam he actually put it put it around his fist and shaped it to make this uh smackdown fist you know up to scale with the stage right here cutting up pieces i believe i want to say that you know he folded them onto um like i, I want to say like uh foil paper uh that he actually you know no no use for this stage you know which is what it seems like but you know it was it was foam pieces put on a on a blackboard you know it just and it just turned out amazing i just really love this stage i have the one that uh jack specific put out of this but you know i am probably going to look into making this you know just so it'll be a little bit more to scale and i don't ruin so much mine right but now let's take a look at the work here from wrestling maniacs only which is the smackdown stage guys the new smackdown stage right before uh this whole uh coronavirus pandemic happened and you know smackdown had to move to uh the performance center but this was the smackdown stage that they were using and uh, as i said you know amazing work you know from wrestling maniacs only right here um bringing us this smackdown stage as you can see right there on the front of the stage guys he actually um built uh those you know um kind of like those arcing uh uh, stage panels right there on the front of the stage when you're coming out and I do believe the the back uh, of it is also a you know either an LED or a 4k TV screen uh, where he also plays the superstars entrances uh, but here let me show you how the ramp looks and uh, kind of like you know the whole stage area right there um, he added those lightings as you can see on the side you know just to bring the actual real stage that you would see if you attended to a smack down show like i said before you know prior to the pandemic uh how would smackdown look and i was actually there guys on this very first smack when they just debuted this uh stage in la and i can just tell you this looks freaking unbelievable i really love everything about this stage mainly those lightings off the side you know every like i said detail for me is key and you know he just knocked it out of the park with this smackdown stage
And that was the video for today, guys. Such an amazing set of stages. I hope you guys did like it. And if you did, remember, give me a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure you turn on notifications. Let you guys know next time I'll be uploading here on YouTube. It's been Gizmo305. I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye.